Thank you, Senator Roberts, how much we appreciate you. And this is the American AgriWomen Champion of Agriculture Award. And after we had decided to give this to you, and it comes from our members throughout the country, uh, there was an article, I think in the Grass and Grain, and the headline was Pat Roberts, Champion for Agriculture. Oh, bless your heart. Yeah, and Thank I you. thought that, well, what, that was not related to us. It's just that we all in agriculture feel that way about you. Well, and thank you, Chris. appreciate all that you've done so much. And our members across the country, we were meeting with Syngenta folks recently, and they said to me, Chris, do you realize that with your numbers of women and your affiliates, you are the second largest national farm organization, second only to AFBF? Hmm. And, uh, it's just that we don't have a check off, and <laughs> <laughs> we're a lot poorer than a lot of the rest of them. But well, you may think about that, but let's you know, put <laughs> yeah, that's the time right. <laughs> right. Okay. But anyway, we just so from on behalf of our members representing 40,000 women across the country, uh, we just thank you so much and want to present you with this thank champion you. of agriculture. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it very much. <laughs> Let me just say what's important about this. Uh, with 40,000. You can have a tremendous impact, and you're already having an impact, but you really, we really need you right now because agriculture has a bullseye on its back in terms mm -hmm. of spending reductions. All we're asking is that we don't have a disproportionate share. And all we're asking, too, is that in the next couple of decades, and that's not that far off, if you look how your kids have grown and mine have grown and everything else, uh, there's going to be about 9.3 billion people. There's about 6 billion on the planet right now. Yeah. How on earth are we going to feed these people, or our people, to begin with, and then a troubled and hungry world? Uh, that's a moral issue that started with Frank Carlson and Food for Peace. And then we had the great, uh, we, 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 we've had so many programs, the World Food Program, et cetera, et cetera. But um, now's the time for you to weigh in on the value of agriculture. And if we have to double ag production in the next couple of decades, why on earth would we be singling out agriculture for spending cuts that are very draconian? Let us do the job on the Ag Committee. We can do that. Give us the number, but, you know, we will do that. We know that we have to do our part in regards to spending reductions. But uh, if we do it, we can do it in a way, I think, that won't cause, uh, what, that much pain out in farm country. And farm country wants to do their share. Right. And so, at any rate, uh, from the standpoint of our ability to double ag production. And that involves national security, it involves world peace. You show me a country that cannot sustain itself with agriculture, you got a problem. Read the Mideast. Uh, there was a, a coverage of somebody stuck a microphone in Egypt and said, what are, you, what are you demonstrating for, for democracy? He says, no, I want a loaf of bread. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's, uh, there's, we have a tremendous story to tell. And, it, it, and you know, production agriculture is not a four letter word. So get out there and do your job, all 40,000, line them up, Chris, <laughs> march, them, march them in here and uh, start talking to some of these folks who uh, just do not understand agriculture and what we're about. Thank you so much. And thank you for the job that you're doing.